Red Dead Redemption 2, a masterpiece by Rockstar Games, is celebrated for its deep narrative, largely centered around its protagonist, Arthur Morgan. His journey, profoundly impacted by tuberculosis, is a key element of the game's narrative. Arthur's illness is not merely a plot device, it's a critical ingredient that shapes the game's narrative, themes, and the player's experience. This video aims to explore an alternate reality. What if Arthur Morgan never contracted tuberculosis? Today, we will examine the potential impact of Arthur's continued health on the storyline, character dynamics, and thematic underpinnings of RDR2. If you enjoy videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe. As 99% of viewers have not done so, I appreciate all of your support. This video was suggested by this user. If you have any topics you would like to see me cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments. Now let's dive into the possible endings for everyone's favorite protagonist that don't involve him getting tuberculosis. To understand any of the many possible theories of Arthur's survival, one must understand the importance of him contracting tuberculosis. Arthur's illness is an important turning point in his character arc. Prompting his introspection and a revaluation of his life choices, therefore starting his path to redemption. If Arthur had remained healthy, his path might have been less inclined towards self-reflection and moral questioning. The absence of a life-threatening illness could have meant a more hardened, less empathetic Arthur, potentially more aligned with Dutch's increasingly desperate and violent schemes. Arthur's decisions, especially those involving empathy and helping others, are influenced by his awareness of his mortality. A healthy Arthur might have made different choices, possibly less altruistic ones, impacting the game's moral tone and the player's experience of Arthur's character. Part of what makes Arthur's story poignant is his attempt to find redemption in the face of imminent death. Without the illness, his motivations for seeking redemption or leaving a positive legacy might not have been as strong, leading to a different, less meaningful and impactful narrative arc. Arthur often acts as a voice of reason in the gang, a role that becomes more pronounced as he grapples with his illness. Without this, he might have been more involved in the gang's criminal activities, rather than trying to resolve internal disputes and looking out for the welfare of the gang members. Arthur's relationship with Dutch van der Linde is central to the story. His illness leads him to question Dutch's decisions more critically. If Arthur had been in full health, he might have continued to be Dutch's staunchest supporter for longer, potentially changing the gang's direction and internal conflicts. Arthur's later advice to John Marston to leave the gang and start a new life with his family is influenced by Arthur's reflections on life and legacy due to his illness. A healthy Arthur might have had a different perspective, possibly influencing John's decisions in a different direction. Furthermore, certain missions and even gameplay elements are directly tied to Arthur's illness, such as those involving his weakened state or coughing fits. The mission Visiting Hours involves breaking John Marston out of prison, Arthur's illness is evident here as he shows signs of physical weakness and coughing. Without his sickness, Arthur's approach to this mission could have been more direct and physically demanding, showcasing his strength rather than his vulnerability. And in the veteran side missions, Arthur befriends a war veteran named Hamish Sinclair. The friendship and conversations are tinged with Arthur's awareness of his mortality due to his illness. Without the illness, their interactions might have focused more on camaraderie and less on introspection and the contemplation of life and death. And in the mission that's Murphy Country, Arthur's illness is evident as he and Charles go to rescue a kidnapped girl. His condition affects his stamina and strength. Without the illness, Arthur could have been portrayed as more physically capable and dominant in combat situations. These missions illustrate how Arthur's tuberculosis diagnosis is woven into the gameplay and narrative, affecting his abilities, decisions, and interactions with other characters. Without this illness, the game would have likely offered a different set of challenges and story developments, focusing more on Arthur's strengths as an outlaw rather than his vulnerability and introspection. Without these, the game might have included different missions, emphasizing Arthur's strengths and capabilities as a robust game member. A healthy Arthur would have different motivations and perhaps different options in key story decisions. Arthur's illness profoundly affects the game's final missions, influencing his decisions, interactions, and physical abilities. 
the final confrontations with Micah and Dutch are heavily tied to his weakened state. A healthy Arthur would face these challenges with different physical and mental conditions, potentially altering the outcomes and the nature of these confrontations. So now we understand the importance of Arthur's illness to his character arc and how the game was shaped around his sickness. But now let's discuss how the game and its ending could have been different if Arthur was never sick to begin with and had survived. Without the introspective clarity brought on by his illness, Arthur might have taken much longer to see through Dutch's facade and might have continued to follow Dutch's increasingly erratic and dangerous plans without question. With Arthur's continued support, Dutch might have been able to execute more ambitious and risky plans, potentially leading to a more dramatic and violent downfall. The game's inevitable collapse could have been more destructive, with higher casualties and a more profound impact on the surviving members. Arthur's role as Dutch's right-hand man might have become more pronounced, potentially leading to greater internal conflicts within the gang as members start to question Dutch's leadership. Arthur's relationship with John Marston is complex, marked by a mix of mentorship and rivalry. Without the humbling effect of his illness, Arthur might have maintained a more contentious relationship with John. This could have led to a power struggle or deeper rift within the gang, especially if Arthur continued to align closely with Dutch's increasingly destructive decisions. In this scenario, Arthur might have met his end, not through illness, but in a violent confrontation, either with law enforcement, rival gangs, or even within his own gang. Alternatively, he could have eventually broken away from Dutch, albeit at a much later stage. As it appeared, Arthur Morgan was already in a state of flux regarding his loyalty to Dutch and the gang. Even without the impending doom of tuberculosis, his disillusionment could have still stemmed from Dutch's increasingly destructive path, heavily influenced by Micah. Arthur's eventual break with Dutch seemed inevitable, given the latter's refusal to heed Arthur's advice on protecting the more vulnerable members of the gang and his blatant disregard for Arthur's life. This betrayal by Dutch, compounded with Micah's heinous act of killing Susan Grimshaw, would have likely pushed Arthur to sever ties with the gang, regardless of his health. In good health, Arthur would have been a formidable force against Micah and Dutch. His physical strength, coupled with a deep-seated loathing for Micah, especially after witnessing Susan's murder, would have driven him to seek justice or revenge. It's plausible that Arthur, alongside John, could have either successfully fled together or confronted Dutch and Micah directly, leading to a deadly showdown. Post-gang life for Arthur could have taken several directions. He might have joined Sadie Adler in bounty hunting, leveraging their mutual trust and combat skills. Alternatively, Arthur could have opted for a quieter life, possibly settling down to assist the Marstons in farming or even just settling in his own small cabin somewhere. This latter path aligns with Arthur's traditional role as a provider and protector, which he had always embodied within the gang. Another possibility is him seeking wisdom and peace with Rain's fall in Canada, fulfilling his need for parental guidance that he had missed earlier in life. Arthur's personal life too could have taken different turns. His relationship with Sadie Adler might have evolved beyond friendship, given their shared experiences and resilience. In conclusion, Arthur Morgan's illness is a crucial narrative device in Red Dead Redemption 2, deeply affecting the game's story, character development, and thematic depth. Removing this aspect would fundamentally change the game's narrative, leading to a story with potentially less introspection and a different perspective on the end of the outlaw era. What do you think would have happened if Arthur never got sick? How do you think the game would be different? We can't wait to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, check out the videos on your screen now. Thank you for watching.